Hello, welcome to Living English. We're going to learn about describing things today. We're going to describe animals. First, look at this episode of our drama, where Steve and Anne spend some time together in a wildlife park. Come on. Look at this big grey one. He's massive. Mm. He has very, very strong arms and legs. Mm. And a big, strong tail. Yeah, and ears. Very big ears. His fur looks very soft. It feels soft on my hand. He's got beautiful big brown eyes. that little black and white one. Oh yeah. I think that's a willy wagtail. They're very fast, they move around a lot. It's cute. It's got such a long tail. Yeah. Oh, look at that bird. Oh, that's a kingfisher. Oh, we have them in Singapore. Really? Mm. Look at its beautiful blue back. Very colourful, isn't it? There's lots in Australia, mm. big ones and small ones. We have a very big one called a kookaburra. Has a very interesting laugh. <laughs> so soft and cuddly. Yeah, like me. They've actually also got really sharp claws. See? Oh, he's so cute. Can I take him home? I don't think they'd be very happy about that. Look at that one. What's the matter? Um, nothing. I'm just feeling a bit homesick. Come on. Let's go get something to eat. There were plenty of animals there to describe. To start today, let's listen to the way Anne describes a kangaroo. Come on. Look at this big grey one. This big grey one. Anne uses two of the describing words called adjectives, big and grey. When we describe something like an animal, we usually say something about its size and colour. When we do this using two adjectives before the thing described, this big grey one, we say the size first and then the colour. This big grey one. Have a try saying, look at this big grey one with Anne. Come on. Look at this big grey one. Anne says one instead of kangaroo. You can say one instead of a noun that can be counted. You can count birds. One bird. Two birds. Three birds. So you can say one instead of bird. Some nouns can't be counted such as milk. For nouns such as milk, we don't use one. We use the words some or any. For instance, if I said, do we have milk? You could answer, yes, we have some. Or, no, we don't have any. If I asked you about something you could count, do you have a car? You can answer, I have one, or I don't have one. Now it's your turn. Do you have a fridge to keep your food cold? Yes, I have one, or no, I don't have one. 
Do you have fruit juice in the fridge? Yes, I have some. Or, no, I don't have any. Do you have a bicycle? Yes, I have one. Or, no, I don't have one. Can you remember what one Anne is talking about here? Oh, look at that little black and white one. That little black and white one. She's referring to a bird called a willy wagtail. Now listen as Steve talks about the sorts of birds called kingfishers. There's lots in Australia, mm. big ones and small ones. Big ones and small ones. You can use ones to refer to plural nouns that can be counted, such as birds like kingfishers. Steve is saying that there are big kingfishers and small kingfishers in Australia. Now listen to the order of the words Anne uses to describe the kingfisher she and Steve are looking at. Look at its beautiful blue back. Its beautiful blue back. First, Anne uses the adjective that describes a quality, beauty, and then the colour. Its beautiful blue back. This ring is gold, and I think it's beautiful. Now, you describe the ring using the adjectives gold and beautiful before the noun ring. It's a beautiful gold ring. Now listen to Anne use three adjectives in a row to describe a kangaroo's eyes. It's got beautiful big brown eyes. It's got beautiful big brown eyes. Beautiful and big are both adjectives that describe qualities. You say them before the colour brown. But you can also say it's got big, beautiful brown eyes. Usually we would say beautiful, big brown eyes. Try saying it with Anne. It's got beautiful big brown eyes. Listen again to Anne describe the willy wagtail. Oh, look at that little black and white one. That little black and white one. Anne describes the size first and then the colours. Notice that she says black and white. Listen once more. Oh, look at that little black and white one. It's time to say hello to Michelle Croden with the beautiful big blue eyes. Hello. Hello, Brenton. Hello, everyone. What have you brought in today? Uh, some animals, of course. Real ones? No toy ones. Now I'd like you to describe each animal starting with this one. Hmm. It's a cat. A small striped toy cat. Now it's your turn. What size is the cat? It's small. What pattern is it? It's striped. What sort of cat is it? It's a toy. So it's a... It's a small striped toy cat. Remember the order of the adjectives is size first. Small. Then colour or pattern. Striped. And finally, what sort of thing it is? Toy. A small striped toy cat. Now see if you can describe this one in the same way. It's a big black and white toy panda. Size first, big, then colour. 
This time, two colours, black and white. And finally, the sort of thing it is. Toy. A big black and white toy panda. You could have said large instead of big. Yes, but you wouldn't say that he's very, very big like this. He's massive. <laughs> he's not massive. A real panda is massive. Yes, he's big, but he's not that big. He's not very big. We've looked at using words such as very before adjectives on a previous episode. Listen to Steve using very here to describe a sort of kingfisher called a kookaburra. We have a very big one called a kookaburra. Oh. It has a very interesting laugh. We use very to mean more than. Very big is more than big. And massive is very, very big. Very, very? Sometimes we use the word very to mean even more than. Listen to Steve. He's massive. He has very, very strong arms and legs. Now listen to how Anne says that the koala is more than cute. Oh, he's so cute. Can I take him home? He's so cute. He's soft and cuddly too. How soft and cuddly? So soft and cuddly. He's so soft and cuddly. A bit like the panda. That's the same as saying he's very soft and cuddly. Yes, but you can't use so in exactly the same way as very all the time. For instance, I can say that you have very beautiful eyes. Yes, you can. But I can't say you have so beautiful eyes. I have to say your eyes are so beautiful. Explain. When the adjective beautiful is used before the thing it's describing, eyes, you can't use so. You can only use so when the adjective beautiful comes after the thing it describes. Eyes. Your eyes are so beautiful. Well, people have said that before. I'm sure they have. Now, there is a word with the same meaning as so that you can use when the adjective comes before the noun in the sentence, you have beautiful eyes. I know. You have such beautiful eyes. I know. Listen to Anne use such to describe the Willy Wagtail's long tail. It's got such a long tail. She said such a long tail. She says ah uh, because there is only one tail. And we can also say it's such a nice day. Yes, but with plural nouns such as eyes, we drop the ah. Uh. You have such beautiful eyes. Weather is something we can't count, and so we say, this is such lovely weather. Well, I've had such a good time doing this today, I don't want to stop. But it's time for us to say goodbye.